All right, thanks a lot, Eric. What do you have at a football game? Well, you know what I, you know, you know what you have a little <laughs> beverage, right? It's Friday, and what better way to wrap up your work week than to talk about beer? Three Spirits is one of Charlotte's newest breweries, and joining us now is owner Taboo Terrell, Terrell, Terrell. That is Taboo. I thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. We we're going to have you on earlier, but you hadn't opened yet, and now you're open and official. Tell everybody where it is. We are on um, 5046 Old Pineville Road. That is right between uh, um, Tyvola and Woodlawn. Okay. And the closest train stop is the Woodlawn train exit. It's a five-minute walk. All right. Now, you're, uh, you're up and running, and uh, you're a doctor by trade. Now, this is what blew us away when we heard this. You're, you're a doctor, and you decided to put that aside and do this, correct? Yes, that okay. is correct. Well, how, did, how did you decide to do that? Life. Mm -hmm. Just happened. Okay. Um, basically, uh, my wife is also emergency room, room physician, mm -hmm. and we both work. And when we moved to um, Charlotte a few years ago, it was wonderful. We could both work together at the same shifts at different hospitals, so we're always on and off together. Right. Then we had two small children, and things kind of changed. Um, um, having uh, dinner at the Chinese food restaurants on Christmas wasn't that big of a deal for us, but leaving our children home with the nanny on Thanksgiving and Christmas was just not how we wanted to raise our family. Um, so we just took some hard choices and made some decisions and she was wonderful enough to let me follow my second passion which uh -huh. is making beer that's fantastic all right tell us what you get when we when we go there and we go through the doors what can we find um, the first beer down here is our seasonal well we thought we'd be open a little bit earlier so mm -hmm. this is actually our summer seasonal it's called uh, Hellas Bane okay. Hell's Bane okay. it's a Munich Hellas it's a German light lager uh, blonde lager uh, the next one are all of our staples. Uh, the first one is uh, Southern Bliss. Southern Bliss. It's a uh, golden ale with apricot. Great can't, to drink can't outside. Can't beat that name, can you? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the next one is Red Moon Rising. It's okay. an amber lager. It's actually the first recipe that I made, so it's kind of close to my heart. Right. The, the next one is Ain't No Hop Steppin', uh, which is an IPA. Okay. You gotta have and an IPA came, for everybody. Who came up with all the names? Did you, did you? I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did. Yes. So, yeah. Okay. All right. What else you got? And then uh, the next one is uh, I Got to Have It. It's a Northern English Brown Ale. Okay. And the last one is Honey Porter. We just left at Honey Porter, um, and it's a porter with honey in it. Breweries are, it's the thing now. It's, uh, yes. it's, I know Asheville is real popular for it. I know yes. Portland, Oregon is real popular for it. Now mm -hmm. the Charlotte area, the Noda area is real yes. popular for it. When did this, how did this start exploding and why? What's, what's going on? My theory is that it's kind of uh, hand in hand with everybody going back to our organic and um, farm to fork. I think people just want things that they know that they can talk to the person that made it and that it was made in their area, so it feels more like theirs. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's what craft beer does. We're not made someplace else. You can come to our places, and you can see right in the back where we make the beer, and you know it's fresh. Uh, and you can go to games all you want to, but you can't get this kind of beer there at, at, a, at Bank of America Stadium, unfortunately. you got to exactly. get it here, right? Exactly. Uh, how, how's, every, how's business going? How's everything going? Everything's been good. Okay. Um, people have been coming in steadily. You know, we've been fighting all the holiday parties, but that's expected, and everybody seems to be liking the beers, and that's what's important. All right. Uh, come on in, uh, Brigida, let's see what you got here. Do, do we do we need to do a little taste? What's your favorite? What's your favorite now? I like them all, but like I said, the Red Moon Rising is probably mine just because that was this, the first one that I did. This is Red Moon Rising, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a little taste here. And, uh, okay. We'll bring Eric over, too. Eric's yeah, not a big Eric. Man. Oh, what? <laughs> here I come. over. He's coming over. Uh, this is, to say it again. Red Moon Rising. Red Moon Amber Rising. Amber Lager. Huh. <laughs> Eric nice. is a trip. Very nice. You, you like that? Here I, like I come. Lot, yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, just, to, right. just to let everybody know out there, everybody here in the station, we're all good people, but all these bottles have been spoken for. Just about. <laughs> wow. Just about. <laughs> wow, really? Just so about. So it's a little late to the party, I guess. That's as usual. Yeah. Yeah. When you come you in, we always out? ask you, what is in your fridge at home? Well, I, I don't have any beer at home. I'm not a big beer drinker, mm -hmm. but, I, uh, but I'm not, but I... I do enjoy. I'll tell you what I like is either a lighter beer or, or a citrus, okay. like with a little citrus in it. Try the Southern Bliss. Uh, okay. Okay. Apricot in yeah. It. Yeah. So I'm not opposed to beer. I just <laughs> once again tell everybody where they can come to, to, mm. to see you. We're in uh, Old good. Pineville Road, five zero four six Old Pineville Road. You can't miss the storefront. It's an old English pub type building. Um, mm -hmm. That kind of stands out. We got a three pronged light out front, mm -hmm. and we are right between Woodlawn and Tyvola. And you can catch us um, at the Woodlawn train star station no and just walk five minutes south. Mm -hmm. Brigitte is not a big drinker. Either. Oh, yeah. she she I'm not. Get it I got to get husband. one for my husband. Yeah. So I, yeah. I would I say I'm, the honey porter. There we go. Someone said they spoke <laughs> for you, but that's not how we roll. Uh, thank you so much for being thank here you. tonight. Uh, and thanks you folks at home for watching. We certainly appreciate it. More news at 11 over on WBTV. And, of course, we'll see you back here tomorrow night. Or, no, Monday night at 8. Yes. And football Friday night.